Hey team, and welcome to episode 2 of how to use the Orbit app. From previous episode, I believe you've successfully downloaded the Orbit app and you have it installed on your mobile phone. In this episode, you'll be taught how to use the various functionalities within the Orbit app. Your login details have been provided for you by your team leads and you can proceed to login with your details. On your page, you can see all the stores that have been mapped and vetted with pictures to show you all the retail outlets within the area that have been assigned to you. In the functionality, you can see your to-do, your done, the retailers tab, the performance tab, the map tab, and then the settings tab. Stay with me as I walk you through all the functions within the Orbit application. The settings tab has your details, your full name, your role, and your email, your phone number. You have the opportunity to change your password by clicking the button, change your password, where you type in your current password, the new password, and you retype new password. Clicking on the tick sign at the bottom right corner successfully changes your password. The update stores info tab on the settings tab gives you an opportunity to update stores within your territory that have been added newly or that have been mapped newly. For stores that have refused to sync during carding activities, you can use the reset sync store button to reset the sync activity and then the stores are synced. The logout button on it asks you if you want to log out of the app or continue using the app. That is the settings tab. The map shows you the total number of stores that are assigned to you within a certain area in a map or in a geographic view. You have the opportunity of switching between how you want to view this either in a Terence way or in a Google Earth way. In a Google Earth way, it appears in this manner. In a Terence man way, it appears in this manner. And you can see the streets, the name of the streets and the location where these stores are located. On zooming in, you can see all the stores that have been mapped and how they are clustered. How they are clustered, this can help guide your movements from one store to the other. On clicking any of the store, it takes you straight to the details of the store, the phone number of the store, address and the location of the store. That is the map tab. The next tab we have here is your performance tab. The performance tab shows you your performance and earnings on every given day. As you work, you earn, and this shows how well you're performing every day in terms of your earnings. And back to the to-do. You have all the stores that are within your to-do for you to work on every single day and then you have your done your done shows you all the stores that have been carded and that have synced for that particular day on clicking any of the store you have the opportunity to see the picture of the store the name of the owner the phone number and the address of the store on clicking the button 
written phone number it connects you directly to your dial pad and you can make a call to the outlet before approaching the outlet also we have a functionality that we call the show on map functionality the show on map functionality guides you through the google map interface to where this store is actually located on clicking the show on map interface connects you to google map and directs your movements to where the store is located on episode three i will take you through how to take surveys and how to card our devices stay tuned